Then I'll give you the lowdown on our mission. Small unmanned aerial vehicles, cruise missiles, and heavy command cruisers are all closely related in terms of functionality and have been uncovered as the enemy's secret weapons by our analysis results. We have collected missile and small unmanned aerial vehicle samples, as well as radar records, analyzed them, and came up with the following. First of all, the small unmanned aerial vehicles are operated from long distance and approach their intended targets to destroy them. In step two, a special electronic signal inside of each small unmanned aerial vehicle is sent to a cruise missile for guidance. And for the final step, the cruise missile that was guided by a small unmanned aerial vehicle hits and destroys its attack target. That is how the enemy's cruise missile system operates. Small unmanned aerial vehicles and cruise missiles are both launched from the enemy's heavy command cruiser. Once launched, they are operated from the heavy command cruiser via remote control. Our Joint Chiefs of Staff have drawn up a plan to destroy the enemy's missile system based on these analysis results. In order to conquer the heavy command cruiser, a constant barrage of attacks from the air is absolutely indispensable. First, we need to get a springboard to launch our plan of attack. We're about to head south to retake Cavalia Air Force Base in San Loma. Our objective is to retake Cavalia's air facilities, then establish a front line to destroy the enemy's missile system. Once the runway is secured, we should have a decent chance at taking out the enemy's heavy command cruiser. Enemy forces will be heavily deployed from land, air, and sea. We'll be doing all we can to deal with them, but I'm sure they'll be ready for us. Success or failure of this mission will very likely have a significant effect on the war. Put everything you've got into this one. Talisman, which plane should I pick? How about my weaponry? Are we ready to fly with these planes? Garuda team, time to take off. Seize San Loma along with its military base and use that as a base of operations for attacking the enemy's heavy command cruiser. Wipe out all enemies along the northwest route on your way to San Loma. Destroy all enemy ships dispatched offshore of San Loma. Take out any enemy forces obstructing our landing. We can't let them take the city. San Loma's got some pretty tough defenses. Going in alone would be much too risky. Guess we better lay off the stunts today. Flagship Marigold to the Rudy team. We need you to take out that enemy fleet offshore and shoot down those escort planes.
Sam locked on to you. Enemy cruiser sent under.
City of San Loma. Let's go out for a few when we get back. Drinks are on me tonight. Talisman, we just took control of our airport from the Estovakians. The battle for Ameria has just begun. Now that we've accomplished this mission, we have a good chance of taking out the heavy command cruiser. Excellent job. Mission accomplished. We have managed to retake Cavalia Air Force Base and free San Loma in the process. Cavalia will be our chief base of operation for conquering the enemy's heavy command cruiser. Ultimately, the enemy's cruise missile system cannot be stopped unless their heavy command cruiser is destroyed first. Every minute counts for us here. Wait for your next order concerning this operation. died directly under an aerial battle. The engine managed to get us this far, but it's been destroyed by machine gun fire. This pilot is from Ludmilla's homeland. She asks the crashed pilot about a name, asking if he has any information, but the pilot takes a turn for the worse. Just before all this, he seemed to be mumbling a name. Garuda. He's the one that shot me down. I know exactly what she's going through, why she's overcome with such emotion. My husband could have very well ended up like this. And now I know. The one she loves is a pilot as well. As we save a man's life on this wide open plain, we both begin to realize what we share, how much we have in common. <laughs> 